Hi everyone, welcome to my first actual vid on this channel. And um yeah, in this first video for the I'm the Reverse channel, I will be ranking all of the Flash villains with this tier list. So let's get into these villains. So the first one is Reverse Flash or Earbard Thon. And the first time he was a main villain in season one, he was really menacing and I really liked that storyline. He also appeared in one episode in Season 2 where I think him being played by Matt Letcher still worked. And then in Season 3, he appeared at the beginning of the season with the whole Flashpoint storyline. Um, which, the storyline itself wasn't that good, but he was also played by Matt Letcher there. And then in Season 4, he was in the crossover events, which he was pretty menacing there. And he was played by Tom Cavanaugh in the crossover event. And then in Season 5, he was manipulating Nora from behind the scenes which I also think was pretty well done. And then in Season 6, he is um, basically possessing Nash Wells, and um, that was also pretty interesting to me. And then in Season 7, he appears in the finale, which I also liked. But really, that's about all, um, you know, he's appeared so many times, and he does get worse as um, time goes on, I think, but I still really like him as a villain, and in season one, he's really good, and I think um, Matt Letcher as the actual Earbart Thon works really well as well. Tom Cavanaugh does a good job, but I really want to see Matt Letcher play the role more. I don't think Matt Letcher is going to play him, though, in Armageddon. It seems like that Tom Cavanaugh will play Reverse Flash in the later episodes of Armageddon, so that's kind of upsetting but overall I still think Reverse Flash is one of the best villains. Next up we have the season 2 villain Zoom and Zoom was also a really good villain. I really liked his menacing presence in the first few episodes of the season and I also really do um, like the plot twist with him being revealed to be Jay Garrick or his actual name being Hunter Zolomon. That was a very, a very interesting plot twist and um yeah, I, everything with him was just really interesting. I really like how he's this villain that comes from a parallel Earth. It just works really well for me. And um, he's not quite as good as Thon, but I will definitely say that if Thon never, um, if Thon never did anything past season one, he would be equal to Thon. But, but because Thon's had lots of roles besides his season one role, and many of them actually being pretty good, like I really like Thon's um, season five role, like I said earlier. Then I think they'd be equals, but I just really barely prefer Reverse Flash to Zoom, but I still think Zoom is a very good villain. Next up we have Savitar, who is a bit of a step down, but still a solid villain for what he is. I will put him in B tier. I did like that he was the uh, future. He was a future version of Barry, or um, I guess not just a future version of Barry, but a future time remnant of Barry or something. Not really sure about that, but. The storyline was kind of confusing, but I really like his suit, and he had a very menacing presence. Not quite as menacing as Zoom's presence, but still pretty menacing. You know, I like the idea that he's basically pretending to be a god. And I like how he teams up with Killer Frost. Where, And I also like, you know, how basically Flashpoint sort of caused him to exist, pretty much. But I still don't think that... Um, the future Barry thing was, um, you know, it wasn't really focused on enough. I wish we could have gotten more time knowing that he was future Barry, because they waited all the way until episode 20 of season 3 to reveal that. So I wish he had, we had more time to see that, but I still think that he's a pretty good villain for what he was. The season 4, vil the season four villain is Clifford DeVoe. And, um... Yeah, DeVoe was a pretty solid villain. I think he'll also go to be... Um, Savitar might be a bit better, but I still really like DeVoe. And when DeVoe was played by Neil Sandylands, that worked really well. But when DeVoe was played by anyone else, when he was doing the body swapping, I didn't really like it so much. I still think he was a pretty solid villain, though. And I liked his relationship with Marlies. And, um, yeah. Overall, I just... Really like um, Clifford DeVoe's presence in Season 4 when he was played by Neil Sandylands. But 
And the middle section of the season when he wasn't played by Neil Sandyland, so that kind of sucked in my opinion. But overall, Defoe's a solid villain, and I'd probably put him in A tier if it weren't for the whole body swapping thing. Okay, next up we have Cicada version 1, who is the villain of the first 16 episodes of The Flash season 5. I'll put him in C tier. I actually think Cicada was pretty solid for what he was. I like um, him in the first nine episodes. If it was just him in the first nine episodes, I'd probably put him in B above DeVoe. But because they kind of dragged him out all the way to episode 16, I didn't really like that. I like that he had that redemption storyline and he decided to take the Medicare. That worked decently for me, but in the end, I'm just still not the biggest fan of Cicada because of how they dragged out his storyline. He should have been defeated in episode 9. And then going into the D tier is going to be Cicada version 2, which is Grace Gibbons. And she barely has any lines. And when she does talk, it's kind of just generic lines. So not really anything crazy about this villain. And she was only the villain from episode 17 to episode 23. And even the finale, she had to split with Reverse Flash. So, really, she was barely the villain, and I really didn't think that it worked for me that, you know, we had to have a uh, Cicada version 2. Now, obviously, I would, I'm glad they didn't drag the Orland Dwyer Cicada storyline even further, because that would not have worked for me either, but just Grace Gibbons does not work for me as Cicada, that's why she's in D tier. The only reason she's not in F tier is because I like the concept of Cicada, and she has lots of the same aspects. And, um, so, yeah, I still think that Grace Gibbons is a decent version of Cicada, but I just don't think, th I mean, not she's a decent version of Cicada, but she's a big step down from Orlin Dwyer, who wasn't really the best villain in the first place, so that's why she's only in D tier. Next up, we have the Season 6 first half villain, the first graphic novel of Season 6, Bloodwork. And um, Bloodwork will go into the S tier as well. He was a very good villain. I really like everything about him. Although, one thing I don't think, I just don't know where his storyline is going after Season 6. You know, we um, he, had a, he appeared uh, at one point in the... Um, Second half of season six, I don't know if he'll ever return after that point, but I mean, he was a really good villain when he was on screen. I like how they tied him in with Barry's conflicted feelings with the crisis coming. So yeah, overall, I really like blood work, and I think the fact that he only had eight episodes to himself, it still worked for me. I, I think they, they didn't drag it out, so it works. Eva McCulloch is a D-tier villain. She's just doesn't work for me. I think I'll put her uh, above Grace Gibbons, but still, Eva McCulloch is quite annoying, and it's just a gender-swapped version of the Evan McCulloch from the comics, and I don't really like that all too much, so it just doesn't really work for me. I still think that she's a decent villain, but she's just super annoying, and they drag her storyline way too much. Even though she only had 13 episodes to begin with, they still managed to drag it out. So, yeah. And she has a pretty boring personality as this. The only reason she's above Grace Gibbons is because she at least has more of a personality. But, yeah. All right. And next up, we have Nora, the Speed Force, F tier. I don't even understand why she was a villain. She's literally the Speed Force. I don't understand why she's a villain. And... Everything about her completely sucks. I just, Barry keeps calling her Nora, but yet he also, you know, she also, he even called Barry dad once, which is dumb considering she's literally his mom, but she's calling him dad. That is stupid. The whole Forces storyline was stupid, and the f main villain of that storyline was probably the worst of the four Forces as it was. So, um, yeah, that's why she's next here. Next up, we have Godspeed, and um, Godspeed's super 
annoying as well. He was set up a lot, but really the Godspeed that we got in the finale of Season 7 didn't work for me at all. But, I, I mean, the one thing I like about him is how, you know, he's controlling all these clones, and he was set up a lot, and the fact that he's a speedster villain does put him a bit higher for me, but he's nowhere near as good as any of the other speedster villains, or Bloodwork, or DeVoe. Um, he's a little bit worse than Cicada, I just love Cicada in the first nine episodes of Season 5, while I really never liked this version of Godspeed. He's really only the villain of one episode, and his arc is set up quite poorly and is very rushed. But I just still really like him a little more than these two because he's a speedster villain. But yeah, that about does it for my ranking of all of the Flash main villains. And um, yeah, that about does it for this quick video. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be uploading more quick Flash tier list videos in the future. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and bye.